Blessings. Hi guys, we're at the shop. It's like 69 freaking degrees. I don't know if you can get much better weather than that. Look at that tailgate though. And the black rear bumper. So, first on the agenda is we have this uh, seat shop box right here. It says we shouldn't use a knife. So we're not going to use a knife, but I'm going to show you what's inside that. And then we have this box. So check it out. Hey. So what this is, is a brand new foam cushion and a brand new seat cover. And this is from theseatshop.com. Um, they have a, a very, very intuitive website if you go check it out. Um, basically what you can do is replace, uh oh, not the key. But they have, uh, you know, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, you know, all the major truck brands, uh, a bunch of like replacement seat covers and options and, th and things like that. Um, yeah, if you go to their website and, uh, and take a look, if you have like an F-150, F-250, they have cloth seats, they have, you know, my, like my brother, he has a Dodge Ram and that thing has a, a bad seat in it. The seat in this truck isn't, I don't know, it's a lot better than a lot of ones that I run across, but you can see it's had this for a little while. And basically what happened there is I, uh, you know, when I, I got in it one day or I was reaching in the back, I put my knee in there and it just ripped that seam. Um, you can see this one's actually been stitched up before, but, and the foam's in decent condition, but, uh, you know, they do have brand new foam, so we figured we might as well throw a brand new foam on it, as well as uh, the brand new seat cover. So what we're gonna have to do is pull the seat out of uh, out of the truck. We're gonna detail the inside, detail the outside, do all that type of stuff today, because we haven't had a chance to do that yet. That leads us to our next thing of what's in this box. Yeah, there we go. This is the Sparco RX100. I've been kind of eyeing the seat for a little while just based upon uh, the fact that it's it's like a budget-friendly seat. Uh, you know, it's right around 300 and some dollars. Um, but we do sell this seat on our website now. So if you go over to motionautoperformance.com, that, uh, that is for sale. But I also picked up a Sparco rail and a Sparco slider for it too, as well as their little, uh, little hardware kit. So all Sparco stuff, nice, uh, you know, high quality. So we'll get that to installed in the Beamer, and then we'll start working on the truck. I got the seat pulled out. There's quite a bit of, uh, of junk underneath there. I already vacuumed it out. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up since there's gonna be a little bit more room on the side of these seats. You'll be able to see that stuff a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that up and uh, it's gonna look nice. Hey. All right, so we had to pull off the, there's like a airbag thing that uh, if you get in a wreck, it like locks the seat belt or whatever in there. So we uh, went ahead and transferred that, got the bolt, and then that's what's nice about using like quality things, like a Sparco bracket. Literally, like this is the nicest I think a seat has ever went together for me, basically just because it's Sparco, Sparco, Sparco. But yeah, so now we have the little airbag thing, um, and it shouldn't chime at you doing any crazy stuff when, uh, when you don't have it plugged in. And then the seat belt actually hooks up on this side before it goes, uh, goes down right there. But yeah, cleaned up a lot better. What are you doing down there, Trevor? I just got, just got the wrench stuck. Because it, it was ratcheting and it went down and it went on there, but then as soon as it started tightening it, it sucked the, 
there's a stud in the front. So now I'm, I'm just du You're double wrenching it. Double wrenching it. Look at David over there. He'll be dirty. Yeah, that's a that's a good looking seat. Brackets and everything are all nice. Looks a little bit shiny right now, but I mean, it, it feels good when you sit in it, you know. Look at, it feels all right. A little bit more bolstering. Got the little bolster right here. I feel like it's almost a little, like a little bit too wide for me because it's not directly up against me. But I was honestly considering one of these for the Supra, and I figured that this would be a good excuse to, to order one for a test because this car needed one too. So I'm not sure exactly which one's going to go on there, but. Uh, yeah, interior of this thing's pretty damn nice. Should we, should we go drift it? Open diff. So again, the diff is a, an option for the, the winner. You know, we'll basically message them like as soon as we figure it out and then decide if we're gonna, like if they want it welded or not. Uh, stock seat will be included. The only thing that, you know, to get it basically back in there and working would just be throw the seat belt thing on it and uh, and that. Um, you know, all the original bolts and all that stuff was, uh, was pretty much reused. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be the seat install for this guy. Definitely, definitely looks a lot better. I mean, it, it's not bad either. I think it'd be nice if it was tan, but I feel like it would kind of look weird if it was tan. I think it'd look like an M3 seat if it's tan. Yeah. Like factory M3, it almost looks exactly like that seat. Yeah. But they have like this little thing right here. Pops but I, out. I think it's like a, a decent offset though, because it's like you have the black and tan dash, and you have like the the tan. Here floor and console and then oh, if you had yeah if you had two of them in here it'd look really good all right so the the first step of doing this whole thing is you just you have to pull the seat out so we're gonna pull the seat out are you, are you gonna tell them what you're doing oh, I, I i told them earlier oh, okay you can tell them what you're doing though. i don't know what i'd do without these freaking power tools I don't know how people worked on stuff before. Oh, actually I do, because I did. It sucked. I mean, I did too, but... It took t twice as long. Yeah, so... Those through the bottom are those nuts. Take, take a look at this, dude. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna look at that. Oh, there's a CD. What CD is that? It's broken. What was Ooh, it? It's oh, it's M&M. M&M. That's, that's what happens. That is what happens. You broke him before he broke you, huh? Yeah. You better break or get broke. I'm actually like, I'm curious to see like what, what's underneath this seat. I, After all these years, I've never had the seats out of here. I don't think there's probably much of the seat. What's under there? Nothing, actually. I mean, it's hard to get stuff under truck seats. Like, no, they're, they're so high. You can vacuum under it. Yeah. Oh, the bolsters are still there. Do that. You're complaining about me sliding.
right, so uh, once we pulled this thing off, you can see that somebody had actually already been in here before and kind of added a little bit to that just because, like I said, I, I knew somebody sewed this up. So now these things are basically held in here to this, uh, this wire with some hog ring pliers. And that's how we're going to get this guy uh, back installed. All right, so made in Texas, this seed shot, look at that. I mean, this is such a nice, such a nice piece, but yeah. So basically, you'll see uh, on the bottom of this cover right here, you'll see all these guys. And that's kind of like a little attachment bar. And then down in the seat, there's actually a bar that runs through here. And then so what you do is you use these little uh, hog ring pliers right there with some hog rings. And uh, basically just kind of stuff it down in there, give it a little clip, you know, and basically like just, just give it a little, and then, uh, yeah. So we're gonna start on that. So this is how you do this. You take your hog ring pliers. These ones are a little bit better than, than these ones. You can get them done with these, but this is a little bit better because it's longer. Um, but so what you do is you come down right here and you just kind of hook that like right here and then just push it down until you know it's around that and then just squeeze it and then it's clamped around there and it can't can't pull up so, and then, you might do this one and then do the side ones yeah it's like i'm a professional upholsterer now huh yeah youtube academy I mean, really, the biggest part is just getting the seat off. Like that, and I guess just not being scared. Just gotta not be scared. Guys, so there, uh, there that is. So yeah, here's the old one, old weird foam on the on the side, and you can see how kind of tight this thing was. Um, this one does have a little bit of uh, of play in it, but it will eventually shrink up just a little bit. You know, that's just kind of the tendencies of this stuff, and uh, it's not actually on the bracket, um, so it has these things that kind of stretch around it and go around there. But the seat, I mean, the foam feels great. It feels actually a little bit softer than the other stuff. But I mean, this stuff's like really old anyhow, and the cover was really hard. So, yeah, this will definitely be a, a huge improvement to the interior of that thing. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to check it out, theseatshop.com. They sell, uh, you know, pretty much tons of makes and models, you know, of of all the stuff. So, I, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and run to dinner real quick. Dave is gonna stay here and uh, and try to put it back together. Hopefully, if not, then uh, I'll probably catch back up with it here in a little bit. Giving a little test run on the uh, old cushion. Look at all that human juice. Whose ass do you think that is? Is that yours or mine? You had the truck longer, so it's probably most of yours. All I mean, that. probably some of it was even before me. Yeah? So I got it with 187,000 on it. I mean, that's all just like sweat and like dust and skin. Yeah, but it's not really sweat if you could be wearing like jeans and stuff. But Yeah, you still sweat. Like. All right, you ready for the big reveal? We didn't show. The before. I mean, the other side. It's better, but. It's definitely better, but it's not. I mean, that took up a lot of crap. Yeah, it could be. That was it. like almost like black. Yeah, it's, it's worse than this one. Yeah. So, uh, basically, what we're doing right now is uh, using some of this scrubbing bubbles. So, uh, I reached out to the, the seat shop over there and uh, I talked to Brian and he said this is a. Uh, a really good method to clean your uh, your old seat or like your old top. So how we we replaced the bottom, uh, but we didn't replace the top. Uh, we have one of those actually coming, but just for now, just for funnies, we're going to go ahead and clean the top and put it back together just so that we could actually move the truck around. Um, but he said scrubbing bubbles. It's it's not something that's supposed to clean leather. It's kind of like a one-time use thing for like neglected seats, especially stuff like this to where it has 
you know, leather's not like not supposed to be shiny like that or be like that really dark color. That's basically all of, like the oils and stuff's coming out of your skin. So we did this section right here, and then this a little bit. This probably needs like redone once more just to get all that kind of stuff out. But it definitely takes away that shine. See, so it's shiny right there, and it's not shiny right here. And then uh, basically after you do that, then you go ahead and treat the leather with, uh, you know, like the, the conditioners and all that stuff to actually, you know, moisturize it again because this will take some of the moisture out. So definitely not like a thing that you're supposed to do all the time, but, you know, in, in a case like this, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean up this top piece. That's, so that it's that's uh, real shiny. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the new bottom right there, how it's not shiny. And uh, again, this is gonna it's gonna stretch out a lot it's better clean. when we actually get it on the on the truck. But you can see shiny, not shiny, gray or gray, not gray. This is like, kind of dark. It's like dark gray. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna give her. We're gonna give her a try. I was testing it out on the the other one over there. And we might even do the back seats and then do them like a full. Because this one has like a little little tear right here. So we're gonna get a new seat cover coming for it. Anyhow, but. Uh, yeah, don't don't recommend doing like the whole freaking seat at once. Um, Maybe do both bolsters. So it gives it a little set time. I don't think you want it to sit like too long. I mean, it didn't seem like it hurt it. Trev, what did you do? I cleaned it. We only cleaned half of it. What happened? Well, we, we wanted to actually see. But I mean, that's it, it's not perfect, obviously, because this is like a worn seat, but I mean, that, you, you can definitely tell underneath the tip, because I kind of feel like wiping it, like we almost like cleaned that a little bit, but look at, look at that. That is such a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of uh, sweat. I mean, yeah. Look at that, it like actually kind of matches now. But yeah, they, uh, you know, so if you if you do get it, they said that because they do I think do the seats and everything in house in uh, in Texas where all this stuff is made uh, stuff like you bring your truck in they'll like actually do it but you know primarily what they what they do is sell them online and they have a bunch of videos and like how to videos and installs so you could actually do this yourself um, which is what I did but yeah um, they always recommend like cleaning the top one really really well you know to basically match the bottom and I think I mean that that gets it pretty damn close especially like right here. Like that area, because the perforated looks weird because it's all like dark in there. But if you actually compare that to that, I mean, it matches. Yeah, I, I mean, mean just that's, down there, it's a little bit. Of... Yeah, all that stuff's like dark, and then down here and stuff. But I mean, overall, that's that's a hell of a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this side all cleaned up and matching, and then uh, I guess just hit it with some uh, some of the you know the the leather conditioner that we have and stick it back in. Then right. until next time. Yeah, we'll wait till. So Dave's in the back cleaning up the, the back seat. That's that seat. If you guys remember the live stream, we're talking about me sliding across it. I'm not as, sliding, Mark. As Dave's freaking, like I'm trying to sleep in the back as Dave's going down freaking mountain passes, not even using the brakes. You, you don't use the brakes. You just give her the... This thing doesn't, it like doesn't engine brake like, like mean, a, it, a new it, one it, does. It's got the it, good race truck feel though, so. Yeah, I mean it. It, it has that cornering ability. It's like a, like a Prius. Oh, you think, huh? 
Yeah, so he's doing the back seat, doing, giving it the whole scrubbing. But I mean, that stuff, I've n I would have never even thought about that. So shout out to the, the seat shop for that. Yeah, I man, they brought him back. He just needs to get yeah, some leather just, conditioner. Yeah, and just stuff. need to condition them a little bit. But honestly, that's probably the cleanest this back seat's been since when I got it. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty gross. I, I rang this rag out. And this, you want to go see? Yeah, yeah let, let's go see. Oh, and then uh, I went ahead. So I got this one all back together, as you can see that. That looks a hell of a lot better, actually clean in the top. And they actually match pretty decent now. Not perfect, but close. but decent. And then I went ahead, look at this. I cleaned the BMW, look, look at that. I didn't even think that was dirty. <laughs> that's that's like, dude, you should clean that. I will, yeah. Look at that. No, like, yeah, I, I just, can't, who leans their head on the back of the seat? I sometimes never... I do. But yeah, all right, yeah, let's go take a look. See what this freaking uh, drag looks like. I was like coughing in the earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's so you guys are getting a clean seat. Some one of you, one of you lucky fellas is getting a clean seat. Brand new seat right here, clean seat in the back. She's turning out pretty good though. Yeah. Did you just freaking look at that? So yeah, David went ahead and uh, cleaned all the other seats. I kind of gave this a uh, little bit of a shampoo right there in the center. Still need to do that side over there. But um, there's a couple little spots in the back that I took care of as well. So I basically did this whole back. Back seat's all clean. It smells like, it just I, I smells like. I put the blanket back in there because it smells good. The blanket doesn't stink. That is a good freaking blanket. Don't worry about that right, blanket. Right, wash the blanket and put it back. No, we're not washing. That was part of the deal. Yeah. Truck blanket. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish cleaning that side. All right, guys. So that is uh, the interior. Went ahead, clean the dash a little bit, clean the door panels, all that stuff. Got that whole side shampooed and fixed the bottom. So this uh, big dirty is like looking more like big freaking clean now. Um, yeah, it's always nice having this uh, this cordless light, this little Milwaukee light in the interior because then you could actually just throw it in there and, you know, it, it, so just make sure not to close your door. But, uh, again, huge shout out to theseatshop.com. Um, so be sure to head over there. If you guys do have, like, a, you know, a, basically a vehicle with an issue with your seat, uh, you know, the website's super simple. Uh, we were going to work together on a promo code. They did provide the bottom seat cover and cushion for this thing. And uh, I went ahead, I talked to them today, and they are going to go ahead and send out a top cover for it as well, which is really awesome. I appreciate them working with me. And uh, we talked about doing a promo code or something like that for, like, Motion Auto, save you guys, uh, you know, like a percent or discount or something. But... They are getting ready to do like a huge Black Friday, like Cyber Monday type sale. So I guess this whole next week is uh, it's pretty much going to be like wholesale pricing on most of their products on the on the site. Um, they do come with the little hog rings, but they do not come with the hog ring pliers. Um, so yeah, if you uh, th there's an option on their site, they're like six bucks to add those to them. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, definitely a huge improvement. This guy right there, these are the, the hog rings that they sell on the site, and then here are hog ring pliers, and then these are the ones they have there. But uh, again, if uh, if you guys haven't got yourself entered, every $5 spent on motionautotv.com is an automatic entry. Uh, we are selling a couple detail products, like this show shine, that stuff works really, really good, and this glass, which is uh, really nice because it's window tint safe. Um, we are working on a couple other little things, like some leather cleaner, some leather, uh, you know, basically some leather uh, conditioner. conditioner uh, yeah, thank you, David. And uh, some other, you know, like interior dressing and some other stuff, which is kind of what we, we used on the interior of this. 
Um, so we are working on a couple of those. So if you guys are interested in, uh, I guess, some detail products, let me know if that would be something that you think we should continue pursuing. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. So uh, again, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully you guys are stoked on the BMW seat and Big Dirty seat and uh, we'll probably see you in a day or so and uh, get some more stuff done. So see you later.